Hello everyone, it's Mrs Carlton here. I hope you're all safe and well and you're taking care of yourselves at home. Um, I wanted to talk to you a bit today about how we're taking care of our mental health, how we're taking care of our well-being. There's been a few videos um, created by other teachers about meditation and how you can use this time to try and sometimes block out some of the distractions and the noise and have some calm. Um, it can be quite difficult to do that. I can give you an example. I live at home, I've got two small children and sometimes it can be quite difficult to have peace and quiet time. You might share your house with, or go over your room with siblings, you might have a big family. So trying to find time to be still, to be calm is really important. And I wanted to try and show you another way of doing that today, which is a, a more, maybe more physical way of doing it, or a more creative way of doing it, and a way that I have been using, um, a form of meditation that I've been using, but through drawing. Some of you might doodle at home and you might find doodling quite useful. Um, what I'm going to show you is something which we call Zentangle. Um, and it's almost a way of meditating through drawing. It's a process that's been around for about 10 years and I've been finding it quite useful to find a bit of quiet time and just to stop and to use drawing as a way of meditating. Is it the same as doodling? Well, no, because usually when you're doodling, you're doing something else. You're usually thinking about something else and you're just letting your hand do whatever it has to do and it could be a range of flowers and words and lines and squiggles. But what Zentangle is and how it's different from Doodles is you're taking the time to actually explore pattern and repeated pattern, repetitive patterns, and that's the way you meditate. It's meditation through calming your mind and thinking about how one line can lead to the next line and lead to the next line. And for your letting your creativity lead you, you're at the same time uh, allowing your mind to be still and be calm and be free from the noise and looking at your phone and TV and just take a few moments out to do it. So I'm gonna just show you a little quick demo of how that can be done and hopefully give it a try. It might be a really nice way for you to be creative, explore design and pattern, but also meditate and be calm and focus on other things other than what's going on outside in the world, what's going on inside in your home and you can do it within like less than 10 minutes, okay. So there you have it, that was my way of doing Zentangle. I mainly use quite um, angular geometric patterns, but some of you work with Mendy or Mandalas and you like working in that way. Um, if you're not sure of what kind of patterns to work with, remember there is no right or wrong. Nobody, it's not about the end process, it's not about this object really that we create, it's about the process of making the pattern and then allowing yourself to be still. But if you're not sure of what sort of patterns to work with, have a go at typing um, Zentangle online so you can get some ideas and inspiration for patterns. Um, but as I said, there's no right or wrong. There are no mistakes because you're doing this drawing for yourself. It's not for anyone else. It's just for you to be still and meditate. Um, and also, if you do make a Zentangle, there's no, um, it'd be lovely to have a look at them and see them. Maybe one day we could come bring them all together when we get back to school and hopefully display them. But in terms of size, it's always a square format. I've done some larger ones, but usually it's nine centimetres by nine centimetres. So have a go at it and see what you come up with. And I hope it helps you. Thank you.